you've seen the intro, it is challenge time. So today I'm gonna to try and burn 4,000 calories and eat 4,000 calories all within the same day. I've seen lots of 10,000 calorie challenges, but I know for me, 10,000 calories, like especially burning 10,000 calories is way out of my range. So I've dialed it back in and we're doing 4,000 calories and I have no idea how I'm gonna do. Now, I've tried to do this challenge within my own means, so we're not going out and having fancy breakfasts and fancy lunches and fancy dinners. It's pretty much what I have around the house. The only thing I've kind of bought in is a pizza for lunch. That's literally just from the supermarket, so it should be quite affordable for everyone to try. 10,000 calories, though, is obviously a different beast and is definitely gonna have lots of costs associated with that. So during this video, there was a lot of talk about calories being burnt or calories being eaten. So just choose if this is a video for you. Obviously, if it's not, click off and find something else. But I do every so often put up a tally about what is being eaten and what is being burnt. So obviously don't watch it if that isn't for you. Right, we are starting the day early, so don't mind this lovely shadow I've got going on. It is 6.20 in the morning, so I'm gonna have my breakfast. Um, I've opted for a kind of healthy option to start the day. So I've got a batch of fuel, berry flavour if anyone's interested. So that'll be 400 calories in for breakfast, which is a fair amount. But hopefully this will fuel me quite nicely for like the morning activities. I'm also going to drink this whilst I'm on the bike. And hopefully, I don't know... I'm going in a little bit blind, so I don't know what activity will do however much kind of calorie burn, but I don't really mind. We're going to do probably 45 minutes, an hour on here, and then hopefully I'll be ready to do a bit more throughout the day. So not going too hard, I've put a mountain bike route on, so I've changed my Zwift bike to be a mountain bike, just to make it a little bit easier for me, so I'm not putting out too much effort, um, because I'm sure I'm going to be back to the bike again today at some later point so i'm gonna get on with that and then hopefully they'll be a bit more interesting to go so see you soon the last of the fuel has been drunk so that's 400 calories consumed now i'm just trying to burn off about i said about 200 but i don't know if i'm gonna get there because it's quite hard to get your power up on a mountain bike. But we'll see, we've done about 13 minutes of this. So loads more to go. <laughs> right, just over 40 minutes done and I've burnt about 205 calories. So that is it for, well, this really early morning start. A little bit of rest now before I'm gonna go out for a run. It's still super dark outside though, so I'm gonna wait a little bit before I do that. And we're off on the first run of the day. Hopefully the only run. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to do about an hour, a bit more. So we're going to be 700 and 20 a day, but we'll find out at the end. I've got one gel to have at some point during the run, so that'll be another 100 calories. But most of it is just about getting on there to do my run. So in preparation for this challenge, I, well, I didn't do anything yesterday. So that would normally have been run club day, but I decided not to go. So I thought I'm gonna be doing a lot of exercise today. So you know, take it a bit easier. And then a couple of days before that, we're gonna do lots and lots of walking. So definitely not zero exercise. Time. So that's another 100 calories. Whew. 
I don't really have gel gels, but I figured easy way to get in, 100 calories, and it shouldn't affect my run too much. I'm walking whilst I eat it because I'm not used to gels. Don't want my stomach to just poof, feel really bad. So nice turn to walk. So get this down. <coughs> All done. Right, let's keep going on this road. Right, we are just walking back from about an hour run and it burned like 500 calories. I tracked it in two separate runs because I ran over to a park and then ran at the park. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of adding. So yeah, that'll be a good chunk of the day. Okay, it is, well, it's a little bit before lunchtime because I'm actually surprisingly hungry. So we've got a big pizza, cheese pizza with stuffed crust for lunch and also quite a lot of mozzarella sticks so I've got some water right next to me because they are very salty. Right, let's see if I can get through those. There might also be some chicken nuggets left over, so we'll see. A little post-lunch snack. So I managed to roast the pizza, two slices left, so hopefully there'll be a little snack for later. And then this little, it's like a little cake pop. So we're going to have this and then go for a walk. Right, the cycling shorts are back on, so doing another bit of cycling. I was going to go for a walk, but it started raining a little bit, so back on the bike, changing things around. So hopefully, it's not as wet as I go out for a walk. We're doing all right. Probably about halfway there. Right, 25 minutes on the bike done, and about 80 calories burnt. So not much. I'm just kind of oh, probably a bit full right little update on food I have drunk one of these which is only about 30 calories not had any food but we're about to go finally for that walk I've spent like the last hour trying to connect my Garmin to my phone because it I like swapped over the phone and it just would not connect so we're gonna finally go for that walk and hopefully get some more calories burnt and we're finally out for that walk so it's still raining, so I'm probably not going to walk as far as I wanted. We'll get somewhere. There's even a little raindrop on the lens right now. So probably 5k, okay, we're going to go up a hill. I've been a little bit more than a flat walk. Oh, it's really coming down now. Probably should put my head up. So I'm about halfway through this challenge. I've eaten about 2,700 calories so far and burnt probably about a thousand. What I am doing for calories though is I'm including the calories that naturally get burnt every day. So for me that's around 2,000 calories just based on my age, my gender and things like that because you know it's just a normal day basically that's it. I don't want to do completely lots and lots of exercise so still including those calories because that's what your food is there for fueling the normal processes, not just the exercise. Right, we are back on the bike, so hopefully get some more calories done. Um, as a little recap, I've eaten about 2,700 and burnt around 1,100. So we've got a long way to go. Obviously that isn't including the extra 2,000 that's just naturally burnt, but I still have 900 calories to go. 
and it is 5.30. I'm actually really sleepy. Um, I did kind of crash just after the walk. So like my tummy just felt really, really full. So finally getting back, doing something that will help the challenge. One hour of cycling complete. So it says I've done about 230 calories there. So let me show you that. Right, it's time for me to finish my pizza. I've got two slices. I'm gonna ha actually have this instead of tea, which is gonna change plans slightly. So I'm gonna need to eat this. Some snacks, I've got some more little white chocolate pretzel things. There's about 50 grams there. So I will work out how many calories it is once I've eaten them. Yeah, I'm just sat on the sofa relaxing and then trying to work out how I can burn the rest of these calories. I actually don't think I can make it. Because I'm just so tired. It's getting a bit later now and I need to start moving again. So I think probably just one more activity and I think that might be me done for the day. Probably won't hit that 4,000 calorie goal. How do people do more than this? I think maybe just a combination of me being a little bit smaller than everyone. And just not really, I don't burn calories that well, but oh, I feel so drained. I think actually the worst part is actually been eating, like, because once I eat, I don't really want to move or do anything like that. So I'm going to do a little workout. So I'm going to do my little stretching slash workout class. It's about 45 minutes long and just see where that takes me. I'm currently not doing too well. And I think I've eaten 3,500 calories because I finished that pizza and then I had those white chocolate pretzels so that added about another 500 onto the total so yeah let's see what we can burn with this workout workout complete i apparently only burnt about 100 calories of so that was like a lot of body weight exercises which obviously isn't going to help me that much, but I think I'm going to call it now. So, challenge failed. I think you might need a pup, you know, maybe we do it on a long run day. Then I hopefully have more of an appetite if I get the run done in the morning. And then eat the rest of the day. Hopefully that will be better. But we'll see. Put down below if you reckon I should try it again. It's not obviously sustainable for me to do every every single month or maybe, like, you know. Maybe episode, maybe in like a few months time I might try it again. But I actually have a race tomorrow, so I don't want to overdo it today. But I'm going to call it. Uh, we'll wait for Rhiannon in the future to give you an overall breakdown of what happened. Because it is way too late right now for me to do it. Or even compute in my head what I'm talking about. Future Rhiannon here from the kitchen. I'm just editing the video. And I need to tell you what I actually managed. So I did manage to eat... 3,501 calories and then if you add on the extra kind of like normal burn for my body I burnt 3,520 calories so not actually as bad as I thought it was I was about 500 calories short on each so potentially if I was to do it again I would definitely be able to do another 500 calories so let me know down below if you enjoyed the video happy running everyone